In the entire run of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, there has been a number of one-note villains throughout the series, some which didn't even have proper designs or names till much later on. Though, without these features, these characters had to stand out in many different ways to be remembered, relying on their design if they had it, stand ability, or even the strange bits of dialogue that they have with the protagonists. And then there's others who are just jokes, things that are not meant to be taken as seriously as the others, and one of the best examples of this is actually the road rumbling menace ZZ and his stand and Wheel of Fortune. Love. Zizi is a minor villain who made his debut on December 11th of 1989, but wasn't named till 10 years later. And he was created to solely pay homage to two niche horror movies that Araki really enjoyed, which is why his arc is only roughly five chapters. Though, before we get too into that, we should actually understand the meaning and history behind Zizi's name. As I mentioned before, Zizi's name didn't actually exist in the original run of the series. He actually remained nameless for roughly 10 years until the PlayStation port of Heritage of the Future, where he had a mini game added in, and that is where he was given the name ZZ, which is a direct reference to the band ZZ Top, specifically their album Eliminator, which features one of their most iconic symbols, and that is their red 1932 Ford Coupe, which is a car so famous that it's possibly the most recognizable part of the band itself, and it has appeared in a multitude of music videos and charity shows, so much so that the car could actually be considered an important member of the band. Now this link to ZZ Top's car is the reason that ZZ was given the name ZZ, as his entire personality is based solely on his stance which manifests itself through a car, and that stand is... Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is a bound stand that connects itself to the car or buggy of ZZ, shaping it into more of a monster car, which means that Wheel of Fortune doesn't actually have a stand design by itself. Though when it is in control of a car, it warps it into this monstrous exterior with a bumper-like mouth with large mandibles, the eyes are headlights, and it gains a massive exhaust port in the back. Along with this, Wheel of Fortune is usually given a red color palette, both in merchandise and in the anime, which could be in reference to the red 1932 Ford Coupe that gave its stand user his name, but in the Shueisha colored scans of part 3, it's actually a gray color palette and in Heritage of the Future in which ZZ got his name, it's a green one. So there's no direct correlation, it could just be a coincidence. Especially so since in the Jojo Veller, Araki claims that the design was more heavily inspired by cars from the 60s and 70s, though the point was just to make a monstrous muscle car. Now stats wise, it has a B in destructive power, D in speed, D in range, which is strange but we'll get into that in a second, A in durability, E in precision, and D in developmental potential. Now ability wise, Wheel of Fortune has one major ability, which can be used in a multitude of ways. And that ability is Confidence Conversion. What Confidence Conversion does is allows ZZ to use his own confidence to freely change the properties of whatever Wheel of Fortune is bound to. In this specific case, it would be ZZ's car. This means the more aggressive and confident he gets, the more dangerous his stand becomes. Alongside this, Wheel of Fortune also shows the capability of learning and adapting to situations, so it can change its physical self to benefit ZZ's efforts. This can be seen in anything like the car repairing itself or enhancing its own appearance like when it bulks up or creates spiky wheels to drive up walls. Along with bending and twisting itself so it can distort its body and squeeze through tight crevices and change the orientation of its wheels to drive between walls. It can even go so far as to use its own bound body as the weapon, like firing gasoline out like bullets and igniting that gas by breaking its own electrical wiring. It's even able to go so far as to tap into the radio signals of nearby cars and mess with them, even though it only has a range of D. But stand stats or part 3 stands don't actually matter. Though the ability of Wheel of Fortune is solely dependent on ZZ's own confidence. This is why ZZ talks as much shit as he does while fighting people. It's because the more he actually believes in himself, the more powerful his stand becomes. He even got so overly confident in his abilities that he momentarily broke the fourth wall and declared part 3 over. But then he got a rude reality check because the stand ability works vice versa. Meaning that if you're able to shatter ZZ's confidence, his car will shrivel along with him. Is that so? And who exactly would replace me, Jotaro Kujo? <laughs> Let me guess, you thought it'd be you, you Roadhog. For you, so I'll offer you some guidance. <gasps> but first, you have to go through a little pain. I'm 
being crushed! No, Jotaro! No, 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 no,